Hi, one best your videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is February 1st, and we are going to be doing a conference preview of the Big Ten right now with uh, Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Troy West, the Big Ten, an interesting conference because obviously jam-packed with the uh, top 25 teams. And as a result, a lot of these teams uh, have sort of like a slightly over 500 ATS records um, all season long, but within Big Ten conference plays, we're seeing a lot of 50-50 ATS records from these top teams like Maryland and Iowa and Indiana, uh, which I guess would be expected. Uh, when I'm looking over this conference, I'm thinking that going forward, the best value uh, that we might see will come from, uh, from some of the lesser teams that have uh, improved recently and come on strong recently, and that is uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. Minnesota started the season 3-12 and 12 against the spread, but they've actually covered four out of their last five. They've definitely been undervalued recently. And and the same thing with Wisconsin. They've covered their last four in a row. They're looking like they uh, you know, might be a good ATS bet going forward. Would you agree with that assessment? You think that Wisconsin and Minnesota are teams you want to look to bet on in upcoming games? Yeah, you know, Minnesota, I think, needs to give me a little bit bigger of a sample size as they were so mm -hmm. atrocious at the beginning of the year. Wisconsin, however, they really have seen a turn a corner. This was a good bet of ours yesterday at allplayswin.com was the minus two and a half against Illinois. You know, you get these teams on the road. They're the much better team. But for whatever reason, Vegas really gives the home team a heck of a lot of a credit. Right now, without a doubt, Wisconsin is a good bet. I think they're going to continue to play good ball, trying to make that push for the tournament. They're, they're playing good ball. They're finally starting to click offensively. They're moving the ball around really well. Bo Ryan's got them playing well, and you got to remember this is kind of his last stand, so I think Wisconsin is a good bet. Yeah, I'm thinking that they particularly uh, might be good value uh, in their next three home games. They're at home against Ohio State February 4th, at home against Nebraska February 10th, and then against Illinois February 21st. I figure they uh, might cover uh, all three of those. Probably a good bet to cover at least two of them, right, Troy? I would think so. Absolutely. They're sitting at 13 and right, 13 and nine right now. They've got to make a serious push. So they're going to be going balls to the wall in every single game. There'll be yeah. no letdown with, with Wisconsin. So I think they will be a good bet here to finish up this season. All right. Then the rest of the conference has got a lot of top teams, right? Purdue, Michigan State, Maryland, Iowa, Indiana. Uh, my sense is that you take all that on a game-by-game -game basis. And my guess is that overall, you know, all those teams are probably going to be pretty 50-50. They're all very good. The market has a pretty good read on all of them. Michigan has lost a four out of their last five, but they, for that, they were 10-5 and five ATS to start the year. Do you have anything uh, that you think might want to be, uh, you know, want to point out to us about any of the, the top teams in the Big Ten? Yeah, you know, like you said, you really do got to pick your spots. Iowa seems to be a pretty good bet at home when you can get them in a good spot. Same with Michigan State. Maryland, I thought, was a great bet yesterday. They ended up covering. They were minus four against Ohio State. So sometimes when you get some of these games on the road against the bottom half of the conference, like I said, home teams really overvalued. Yes, Maryland only covered by a point, but, you know, it, it's just surprising to see teams as good as Maryland, teams as good as Iowa Michigan State, Purdue. These teams are very capable of going on the road and winning games. So if you see them against the bottom half of the conference and that line is in favor of them, you got to play them. These are good, well-coached basketball teams that could be, a, you know, an Elite Eight type of team. Got to play them in those type of spots. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I've got a couple of games circled here. Iowa might be a good bet in their next two games at home against Penn State on February 3rd and then at Illinois uh, on February 7th. They're going to be a big favorite in both those games. But I think that, uh, you know, that's kind of how the Big Ten, like Penn State, you know, they, they usually lose ATS to top teams. And the same thing with, uh, with Illinois. They might get a cover, but my sense is that Iowa actually will be a good bet even as a big favorite in their next two games against Penn State and Illinois. You agree with that? I do. Absolutely. I agree with that. I, I think, like you said, Pete, these type of teams right now playing good basketball going into the tournament, they want to continue that. Well-coached teams, I think looking at the coaching staffs of these teams as you get into this deeper part of the season when the games really are starting to count, Look for a big push by some of those teams. Yeah, and also same deal with the Purdue at home over Northwestern on February 16th. All right, an interesting, exciting conference, the Big Ten. Thanks for your thoughts, Troy West. AllPlaysWin.com is your website. Tell us about that. Thanks, Pete. Absolutely on fire right now. Come take a look. We did finish the month of January at 50 and 40. Doesn't impress a lot of people, but it's still winning month without a doubt. Come take a look what we're doing at AllPlaysWin.com. Unbelievable March Madness specials going on right now. You can't be what we have to offer. AllPlaysWin.com. Thanks, Troy. Thanks, guys.